so <laughs> I said that I was going to do memoirs and just share them with everyone um not necessarily teaching not necessarily showing you how to do something or explaining energies per se but just sharing a part of my journey with you all only because you know I've know we're connected and in some way you know what I'm saying could be um it could resonate with you and you know you might be going through what I'm going through and you know any insight that I share in regards to my life may help you um, so, with that big announcement, <laughs> I discovered I have a fear of commitment. I am a commitment phobe. There's a real fear there, and it manifests in my life. <laughs> on a consistent basis and I think it's funny because I never would have thought of myself uh, as having commitment issues because in my heart you know I desire the long term when it comes to relationships and I desire stability and I call myself you know envisioning the future so you know those are some long term term goal goals that um I see for myself and I've spoken over my life. But <laughs> I always tend to self sabotage any efforts that I make when it comes to longevity of a project or desire or goal. And (laughs) I just realized that about myself. And then I feel like that has really, 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 really set me free. Um, I'm a very observant person when it comes to my life and how my life is unfolding. Because I know I am a master manifester. And I'm always manifesting And somehow, you know, right now in my current manifestations, it's not exactly what I desire. You know, that's so funny. I just got a notification from Poshmark that says, be the energy you want to attract. (laughs) And that's exactly what I was just about to say. I was about to say, um, because of certain mindsets that I have, I'm attracting not necessarily what I want. And I look at my world around me as a mirror to what's going on internally. And what I mean by that, my current state of being. By me knowing that I'm a manifester, there's no reason why my life is not how I desire. Right now, my mirror is showing me lack in some form. It's not showing me the abundance that I see for myself or I envision for myself or that I have spoken over myself. It's showing me lack in several areas. It's showing me struggle in several several areas of my life. And me being the individual that I am and having the knowing that I know when it comes to being a manifester, you are what you attract as Poshmark notification just said so what's going on with me and that I'm not prosperous 
then I'm not fully flowing in abundance as I would like. What? Where are these blocks coming from? And as I know, as a man, man, master manifester, um, those blocks are coming from within, huh? You have some type of emotional attachment to something that you don't like or something that you're fearful of. There is fear dwelling in your being. So, a certain area, a certain topic has come up when it comes to my current mirror. And it is relationships. Relationships to... Um, the way I interact with people, how people interact with me, the relationships that I have with the goals that I set forth for myself, um, even finances, education has been a failure. <laughs> And I, I'll speak on these things. Um, after I graduate, and, and let me say this, <laughs> I barely graduated high school towards the 12th, no, towards the end semester, the very last semester of... Um, my senior my senior year i decided to just give up and quit it might have been like towards the end of my third and my whole fourth semester i said what i'm not doing nothing y'all can't make me do something oh you giving me a chance to do makeup work i'm not doing it <laughs> i was so through and i was right there so I ended up like, okay, Nicole, you didn't graduate on time, but you want to graduate. So go ahead and go to summer school. And I graduated from summer school with that report card <laughs> with straight A's. Like, it's nothing wrong with my ability to learn. I'm just like, <sighs> I had a fear of committing myself to finish through with I mean, um, with high school, I don't know where this fear is coming from, where it stemmed from, per se. But I noticed that being an example of my fear of commitment because it has repeated several times in my life. I've been in school, school for almost all of my life. <laughs> and I don't have a degree to show for it, even though I want to I initially wanted to be a doctor then <laughs> I was like, okay, that's too long. I'll be a nurse practitioner or a nurse. And then I found out I could be a nurse practitioner. I'm like, okay, that's even better. You know, it's not as long as a doctor, but, you know, I can still do some of the things that the doctor does. <laughs> so I've been in school for, um, initially digital design and animation in college and that was not working out so I decided to go for medical assisting and this was me working on my associate's degree um two classes before graduating um I noticed manifestations happening in my life where I had a mental breakdown I had a mental breakdown and during my mental breakdown my brother was murdered so it was like trauma like oh my god like what is this and me being who I am as I said I am I'm a master manifester that was the reality that I created for myself you know, a lot of people be like, how could you have created that? You know, because I create my world. It wasn't something that I just woke up to one day or earned 
the ability to be a master manifester. I was born this way. We are all born this born this way. So I took responsibility. <laughs> you know, I'm taking responsibility for my life right now. So let your sister talk. Nah, nah, I'm just playing. Okay, anyway. I've noticed this, you know, also with other programs, even though I didn't get my associates. In, okay. I didn't mention that I changed my major from digital digital design and animation. Sorry. <laughs> I changed my major to medical assisting because I knew that was more so along the track of what I really, really, really wanted to do. Although I was a very good artist, but translating it on computer was something else that I did not like. And <laughs> so I figured okay this is a start to the medical field let me do this medical assisting degree and um that's getting me as a stepping stone towards me becoming a nurse so and the only reason why i didn't go to the nursing program because they didn't offer that that was the closest thing to it um to transfer so with that being said I um I decided to go back to school for my nursing degree and you know ended up pregnant. <laughs> and the thing with the, the the other degree, like I created this circumstance for okay, I'm all over the place now. Let me explain this about this first degree, this medical assisting degree. This is associate's degree. When all this happened, the trauma, the major trauma, I stopped going to school to tend to me and my family. I took some time, you know, off because, like, although, you know, I may have not shown the trauma that I was going through, I was, like, kind of off. (laughs) I was off a little bit. So I had to regain myself from that experience. By the time I decided to move back to go to school, I had had a child and it was almost a year or two later and I wanted to enroll and they told me that I would have to take every last class over that needed to be taken over because especially the medical classes and then pay for them. And I was going to a private school at the time. And I'm like, I can't afford that. So that kind of defeated my my goal, my dream. I was two classes away from earning my associate's degree. And I manifested that situation. And I kind of gave up. (laughs) So years later, I decided to finally just go to school for nursing. And I started at Baker like another private school or community college. And in the process of this happening, when I started the private college for nursing, I ended up pregnant with my daughter and I was terribly sick. After having my daughter, I re-enrolled myself back into school, a community college for nursing. And the worst situations happen. <laughs> like I've created like so many catastrophic events to throw me away from these long-term projects that I wanted to complete. Cause I've done this several times. I've been to school, even changed my major to healthcare management. I do have a diploma in medical assisting and I barely got that because towards the end I almost gave up. But my instructors um push me forward like all my instructors always have pushed me forward because I guess they knew my potential and I was giving up (laughs) um so I lack commitment when it came to my education I've always went for what was easiest right now 
because of what I've manifested for myself, I am not eligible for Pell Grants or any type of funding when it comes to going back, when it comes to going to school, except student loans. And even then, that's not really an option for me. (laughs) So I've kind of like put a block when it comes to going back to school for my degree in nursing. (laughs) Although I wanted to be a doctor, so I may have to like reevaluate that because even that nursing may have been um, me creating or me afraid of commitment when it comes to being a doctor because I'm not a nurse yet. (laughs) It's been a block every time. And I've created these blocks because of my fear of commitment, of really being a doctor. That's something that I really should think about, (laughs) becoming a doctor again. Now, when it comes to relationships, there's a lot of things that I mirror when it comes to my relationships. But when it comes to the fear of commitment, I've always manifested a result of me running from situations that I've created to be very intense. And, you know, this is kind of controversial, I guess, to a lot of people because we even create our relationships. If you can't find a partner, if you are in a relationship that you're not happy with, it's because you have created it because of what's going on internally. You're attracting these situations because of what's going with, going on within. And I've some people may even notice a pattern. And I have a particular pattern when it comes to men and how you know men have treated me. Even to right now and how intense the mirror has been because I am faced with my twin flame. And if you don't know what a twin flame is, like these experiences that I had before my twin flame was preparation, but it is nothing compared to anything that you've ever been through. It is very intense, very intense, very, very intense. The fire can get hot, but in this process, it's a a chemical process that's being performed. You know, you're transforming and I have transformed a lot. Like if anyone has heard um, any videos about me saying, you know, I don't even know what I was about to say. I got thrown off like. I was just like so deeply um, captivated by this flame here. Okay, anyway, back to the intense thing. So now I'm faced with my twin and all of my fears are being extremely mirrored back to me. I've never noticed life to be this intense before. Um, Before I met my twin... I was just floating by with life, you know, floating by with, um, just, you know, being mediocre, being a mediocre individual still, you know, okay, I'm comfortable, but now I have to step it up, step it up a notch because I am aware that this is what I'm reflecting. He, like the twin flame mirror I wouldn't even say he because he is I like that's my mirror. So like that's like me as a female on this side of the mirror. And when I look at my reflection, (laughs) I see my masculine aspect and my masculine aspect. That part of my um, 
reflection is off. <laughs> it is off. And so every time that I work on myself, I see a different reflection. Because that trigger that my mirror reflects is no longer there. So it can't reflect that back to me ever again. It's gone. So now I've come to a point where I've realized what my twin is reflecting back to me is my fear of commitment. Because my twin or my mirror, (laughs) my reflection is showing me how afraid it is to commit. Although the deepest desire is to commit, but there's a there's a fear of committing. Um and now by me seeing that and like picking up on that because I know myself. I'm starting to see how this fear of commitment not only affects my relationships, not with my not only with romantic partners, but with um friendships as well. Anytime I get close to anyone, form any type of bond, something is created. Somehow I end up hurt from what that person I allowed in my heart they end up hurting me and I'm that's because of my fear of commitment because I don't want that to be something long term even though I see it becoming long term and it's a reason for that yes it's a fear of commitment but why is that fear of commitment here why is it here why is it there What do you know? (laughs) If you resonate with this, what does your spirit say to you at this time? Like if you didn't know you had a fear of commitment and by me sharing light on my situation and you somehow seeing yourself in it and you're like, wow, I have commitment fears too. Why? It's not really the fear of failure because... (laughs) You know, in my case scenario, I failed, I failed, um, high school, my 12th grade year. (laughs) I failed classes before. Where does that fear of commitment come from? It's not the fear of failure. It's the fear of being great. The fear of being responsible. The fear of being able to follow through. The fear of being able to be relied on. That's a very huge one. To being being relied on. Not um letting anyone down. Not even letting not letting anyone down a lot of people may desire your company or you're afraid of being transparent being known being seen I'm telling myself this this is almost feeling like spirit is speaking to me I'm listening to my heart, actually. What's your spirit? My heart is still speaking because there's something left unsaid. And it weighs very heavy on my heart right now.
The fear of commitment comes from I almost feel like my heart is afraid to say it because it's so retarded with no judgment. It's almost like the fear of standing up or, you know, being a stand-up person comes across. But that's not it. Or saying no, <laughs> that's not it. Whatever it is. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but... With this realization, anytime you realize something within you that does not need to be there, and just shedding light on it, because, you know, we know our twin, our mirror, will reflect, um, especially if you are a twin flame, will reflect your worst fears or your you know your shadow because they are you they just represent your shadow and if there's nothing in shadow and everything comes to light then you won't have no problems and you will be set free whatever freedom means to you but for me <clears throat> I know I desire a future. You know, I'm, you know, some people are fine with, you know, living in the moment. I have a future that I envision for myself that requires effort. That requires commitment. Dedication. And I I feel like now with this realization, you know, I have to be responsible to, you know, see this dream through at any cost because I really, 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 really want it right now just to, you know, build my confidence when it comes to to commitment. I (laughs) am going back to school. You know, and it's something that I can afford out of pocket. Um, My set graduation date is sometime next year. So that's several months that I am committing (laughs) to my education. And so far, so good. Like, it always starts out so far, so good. Um, It's going... As you know, it's going well. I'm not gonna say as expected. It's going well. I'm committed to studying every day, or at least logging in every day because I'm online. Um, and although it's not for my nursing degree, um, I feel like it could possibly be a step closer because of. What I've manifested for myself, it almost feels impossible to get help paying for my degree now because of, you know, what I've created for myself like financially. <clears throat> so I'm thinking of ways to, once again, baby steps to get closer to my dreams now and it's okay for baby steps because now I'm showing myself that one I'm going to finish this program even though it's shorter term you know this is building my confidence it's a short term program because even short term programs I've 
had um, difficult and completing. So here it is. The short-term program, although it does seem like forever, it seems long, I will complete. I am attempting what I will complete because I recognize my commitment there. Once my foot is in the door, I know the opportunity is going to come to me, or it is, it's going to come to me to get my nursing degree or that's something that I have to debate now <laughs> because I wanted to be a doctor. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I guess I could be a doctor in nursing. <laughs> that's still a doctor. I never said what kind of doctor I wanted to be. Did I said I wanted to be a pediatrician, but I completely changed my mind on that because I've come to like the holistic field. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, So I'm excited to share that. I'm excited for this revelation of my commitment fears. Because of that, I'm expecting to see my reflection show different. When it comes to those things that I must commit to. Because this is a part of my vision. You know. I have no choice. I'm being more responsible. (laughs) So I just wanted to share this. Um, as I've said before, I hope this can help somebody. That's the point of me sharing. Cause it's like, I'm putting myself out there, but I really do hope that this does help someone. So signing off. <laughs>